The last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. Leosa. Your bowstring stopped glowing. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Your bow, please. Once you claim the light of all time, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. Talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Is this it? It's so dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree, and make travel between the realms possible. Approach- How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So, that's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes. The wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Every realm has a travel rune that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now the realm travel bridge will align, and the realm between realms will open.
See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost, opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower missing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. Follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of Alfheim. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. And we'll be able to make that light go away? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot... The light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <sighs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get caught. She's not dead, is she? Not likely. Come. Look at this place. Stay by me. Touch nothing. Okay. What is that? <laughs> I think you killed it. Look up there! Whoa, what's that about? Not our concern, boy. Focus. They keep murdering the White Elves. It is war. The end of one. The rope once lost. attacking us for? We didn't do anything. <laughs> More will come. Ugh. Where did this stuff even come from? Did you say something? No. Oh, okay. Another cipher piece. I'll see what I can fit together. Getting closer to the light. Oh, wait, I could use this. Was there more? Let me think.
What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Did your mother speak of this realm? Not much. Just that since the elves are always fighting over the light, they kept them isolated. Huh? Again, I said nothing. Where? This one you said something. What is it, boy? Oh. Voices! You don't hear that? I hear nothing. Mm. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt... evil. Try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. Too. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. But I don't see any runes around here. Oh, we must find it. Back to the boat. The elves can't work things out. How if I'm such a beautiful place, but war makes it. The blue door! That's gotta be the entrance. Let's go! Careful, boy. What are they doing? The bridge is gone. They covered the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements.
that problem with us? We do not belong here. Wait, combined together like that, they kind of look like a room. It doesn't make sense. Come, back to the sand bowl. Sad the elves can't work things out. Now I find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. Enough. Stories are for the boat. We must focus. Father, the pillars and ring form an elvish room. Draw it. <laughs> Boy! It was the voices again. Different voices, less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. Ruler. What's happening? Whoa, look what we found. Father? Yes. The voices I heard. It was hard to make out, but way in the back, I'm pretty sure I heard mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. He looks different. Look at those horns. Behind me, boy. That can't be good. Stay away from those cages. Wonder why they're locked up. That side hallway will get us to the temple? We will find out. <laughs> Who 
You were wrong back there. Oh? I know Mother's voice better than anyone. It was her. She is gone, boy. Speak no more of this. Fine. Atreus, to me! You sure the witch is okay? I'd hate to think she died helping us. She knew what she was doing. Okay. Ugh, more of it. If we cut enough away, the bridge above us should reappear. Right. Expect resistance. Right. Go! <laughs> 
Our backs, boy. You're freezing at first. Smoke. We must find a way up. Huh. Guess the light makes more than bridges. Maybe this will spit us out on top. No, I will never get used to walking on solid light. The door. There's no seam. What? 
We have a problem. More of those bells. The man here just must be nearby. The dwarf again. Sindri? Hey, Sindri. This way. Hey, Sindri. Could you take a look at this? Honestly? Here. Boy. Another one. Hmm. This giant's a sorceress. Her name is Groa. Looks like she had visions. Boy. Open. Hello? I don't get it. I even have a door then. Hello? Come, we will find another way in. Hey, Sindri, could you take a look at this? Honestly? I don't have much else going on.